this guy as a boxer, as a champion. For me, he is not a champion. He's a fake champion. He lives uh, right now with uh, this uh, status. He's a fake champion. And he believed in this victory over me. And right now he's trying to uh, get belief uh, of people on his figure. It's, it's, it's wrong. So for we're, me, we're it's going wrong. Out here Radio right here with Sergey Kovalev. Good luck, June 17th Thank in you, Las buddy. Vegas. So, Sergey, is this the first fighter you really felt this much animosity, anger? I mean, just was it, are you more upset more because of his antics or because you felt that you deserved that decision? No, it's not the first fight uh, when I'm angry, you know. Like, uh, but I, I, I'm always angry when I'm fighting, you know. But last fights, last two fights was uh, really uh, disappointed for me, you know. I, I mean, uh, what, what shape I had, you know of two last fights. But right now, I hope that uh, I will be to feel much better because right now, on this point, feeling good and uh, no any problem to get back my belt. Are you happy going to, from the Big Bear, coming to Oxnard in nicer weather? What were you know, your thoughts of training here in Oxnard? I, I, I'm happy with What's happening around me, you know, I mean like a train camp, like my family, my life, you know, my boxing, and that I, had, that I have right now, no belt. And this for me, new motivation, he for that. Because like he do not deserve this belt. This is gift for him, from the judges, for Christmas. And Christmas already finished, you know, and belts should be back with you. Golden, yeah, with me. Did you watch the fight? Have you seen the tape of the fight? Uh, I tried, but uh, <laughs> I saw only six rounds. So I just scored the first six. I, I don't have a patient. I don't have a patient, you know, like to watch it. For me, much easier to fight than watch it. I mean, if you do the same thing, you know, say the, the fight unfolds exactly the same way as it did last time, are you confident that you're gonna that the judges will see it your way this time, or do you feel like you need to go in there and knock them out? Uh, I think so. Uh, I should to knock him out, and I must to knock him out to get well, my belt back because uh, everything can happen. But I believe in judges, you know, like, uh, and I believe to even even after that, you still believe in judges. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, I think so. First fight, they made uh, mistakes, you know, and but uh, right now. Uh, right now will be another uh, judge, not the same, because like we're not going to fight with, uh, with the same judges, because uh, every can, it, it can repeat, you know. Right. But right now, like different judges, and I think so they gonna be fair, yeah. so fair can, um, and like uh, honest. Sure, to, to, to count the uh, our fight. One, yeah. one second, I just need everybody to take one step back. It's really close and hot right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really Sergey, warm. Um, at the press conference, he said that there was nothing that wasn't expected to happen in that fight in the first one. You dropped him in the second round. He said, why didn't you finish him? You were supposed to drop him. Everybody expected you to drop him. You didn't finish him. Why is that? Why couldn't you finish him? Today. Uh, I thought that uh, if knockdown happened and uh, it can happen again, like, but not rush, just a not rush, you know, like, and but I didn't know that my power, my um, my energy will finish in the fifth round. In the fifth round, I am down and I lost the speed, I lost the energy, and I was empty, 100% empty, you know, like, my body fought because like my character doesn't give me like a safe stuff. I'll be like uh, fighting like until uh, I die, you know, like, and uh, I fought empty. Under water, got like uh, four rounds of victory. Yeah, he got, uh, he just uh, got victory of four rounds. He won four rounds with empty cobalt, you know, like it's, uh, 
we'll see we'll see what will happen June 17. Mm -hmm. I think so will be everything uh, on my side. In that second round, what couldn't you finish in that? You lost your stamina by the fifth round, but in the second round, well, why is it? Why was it too difficult to uh, finish? I just round? explained you again that <laughs> I didn't rush. I just thought if it's happened, it, it's gonna be happen again. But I didn't know that uh, my energy will uh, lose in the fifth round. Sergey, what does this fight mean for your legacy? No. What does this fight mean for your legacy? Uh, everything. So I wanna live on this point of uh, of the boxing. You know, it's the highest uh, level in the boxing, the HBO pay per view. And it was my dream someday, you know, like uh, long, long time ago, it was my dream and right now on this level and I want to, uh, and I don't know want to lose this point, everything uh, this fight remains for me. And how do you stay focused for such a huge fight like this? I don't know, it, it, it's my job. Uh, I, I'm in the boxing since 11 years old and already like nothing can broke me, nothing, you know, only kill me. If somebody will kill me, yes, I will stop, but uh, still, uh, <laughs> still alive, you know, I, I, I will do my, my job and I will, will be to do my job, you know, and, and right now uh, God bless me and I have a healthy to fight, you know, like, and, ready for, for June 17, you know, like, uh, get my belts back. You know, it sounded like it was a real pain to, to get the rematch, right? I mean, they were talking about, Andre was talking about retirement and stuff. You know, most people thought that you won the fight. Why not just say, you know what, I don't need the belts. Let me just move on with my life. What, why did you want this fight again? Uh, you know, like, I think what, what I think that uh, Andrew Ward uh, respect himself and he's understand that he didn't win he didn't win this fight and right now I think so he believe in himself much more than before the fight with me uh, because he he knows that he found the key to get victory over me. That's good to wait for you to get time. Yeah, and like right now, like he's, he he knows and he is understand that he get uh, he can get again victory over me. But you know, like. But why do you want the fight though? I mean, you. June 17, Kovalev will be much different. Yeah. Believe but, me. But what, why did you insist on making the fight again? Again, most people thought that you won, right? If you had walked away and just said, you know what, I'll, I'm going to fight somebody else, I think no, most because, people would have still, because still I, said, you won the fight. No, because I, I want to like uh, prove that he doesn't, he didn't uh, approve, uh, he didn't deserve this uh, belt, and I want to get belts, my belts back. Yeah. It's my goal, you know, like and uh, the belts mean a lot to you. Yes, and what? I want to punish Andre Ward too because he. Don't, he doesn't deserve this money, uh, this belt, this uh, status, and to be champion. He's not a champion for me. In there's, my eyes, he's a not champion. There's one belt Sergei, missing, the WBC. Yeah. Sergey, ever since the fight you've lost, what have you learned about yourself and as a fighter from your first training camp and that fight and to this training, this current training camp? I just uh, need everything to keep control. I mean, like, uh, every workout should be under control. Uh, right now, I have control of my... Uh, right now, I, I'm under control of my training, conditioning the training coach. Uh, he starts me on time, you know, like... Is he helping you? Yes. Okay, good. Because, like, me, uh, I'm like a, like a train, you know, like, if start, yeah, keep going and going, like, and uh, no, no breaks, but like, uh, I can I can work like a two hours, you know, like. Can you feel the difference in your stamina? Yes, yes, but right now I feel much better, much better, and emotions, uh, my emotions are 
much, much, much better and like, feeling good. And, uh, you know, like, enough to say, mood right now, like, let, let, let's see what will happen, you know, like, June 17, like, just to have a patience. I wish the HBO pay per view, like, or, or comes to, like, Las Vegas and watch the life, you know, I will kick his ass, you know, because this guy doesn't reserve, doesn't reserve the, his belts. It's my opinion, you know, and I live and living and will be living with this. It's no secret that there is anim there's real animosity between you and Ward and your social media, you're under fire again. Can you just tell boxing fans, uh, are you just misunderstood or did you just misinterpret it when you retweeted things? There's a lot of people. For what? Um, your social media, just, you know, certain things you put out that... No, it's the most, it's the most my post, like, uh, uh, right? Like trolling him, like because like <laughs> I, I I I don't respect this guy, you know, like this. He nothing to me. He was before before the fight. Yes, I had some respect, but exactly before the fight, he lost the respect. And right now, is the more. Okay, everybody, truly, everybody, back up two steps because it is hot right here. <laughs> you said the belts were the, were motivation for you. Obviously, the respect that you lost for him as well. You over. Your words, you overtrained in the first training camp. How is training camp and the animosity being controlled by you and your team this time? Uh, I, I said before before the, my last fight that I should to get more work, more job in the training camp to get victory over uh, uh, underwork. Yeah, and I did it. And I understand that the, I made my mistake, big mistake. It's good experience for me too, you know. Like, but right now, I just uh, try to get back all my training camps, what I did before the fight with Chilemba, because Chilemba fight and Underworld fight is the world two similar uh, shapes. I fought very bad. I fought. Uh, I look very tired in both of, of, of these fights, you know. And right now, <coughs> delete this and get back all what I did before. Last my fights, last two, my, two my last fights, and I, I hope that will bring success in June 17. Why do the belts mean so much to them? There are some fighters that say, you know, are willing to vacate belts or not fight from just not. Oh, no, you know, like because my goal was and still to be collect all four belts, mm -hmm. and like I got the three and left just the one, you know, like and uh, right now under work on my way to this goal, you know, and I should to move him from my way to my goal in knowledge. First of all, I should to get, I, mu I must have, I must have get back my belt and we'll see what will happen after this. But nobody knows. That other belt is the one that belongs to Adonis Stevenson, the WBC belt. What does that belt mean to you, the WBC belt? A lot of people consider it the most important belt. And he said to defend that title against Andres from Fora. What do you make the fight and what does that belt mean for you out of all of them? Uh, for me, I'm very proud to get WBC belt to my collection, to my to my home, bring to my home, you know. But right now uh, is the first uh, step. I should to get three belts from Underworld, and after this we can speak already about WBC. Just for that fight, the the rematch. The rematch. How do you make it, Stevenson? Before how do you make it? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't follow for this, like, for any news about this fight, like, I don't care, you know, just, uh, I don't care who behind the belt, for me it's the most important belt, and uh, 
what what are thinking your boxing fans about uh, your boxing fans about you uh, about me right now boxing fans thought that I won the fight and I deserve this belt and uh, a lot of boxing fans wish me get belts back and uh, about war thinking that he doesn't deserve this uh, belt it's been for me very a lot you know like it's the most important what people say about you then you self about you think right you um coming in on the first fight you seemed extremely motivated because this was a guy that was touted as your equal if not could be a little bit better than you first match happened many felt you won the fight coming in, in the second one because of that seeing that so many people felt you won the fight does it bring the motivation up even more like well, what's driving you this time compared to the first time yeah of course uh, i'm i have a more motivation right now because uh, i have a goal uh, last fight i had uh, I had just a, uh, you know, like a uh, test. Uh, I came to fight under war or not, but right now I already understand it and I know that yes, I came to fight him and I get to beat him. Uh, right now I have a goal to get belt back. You know, it, it's the more uh, motivating me than any test. He seems, uh, hearing you talk, it, I get a sense that you're angry at Andre. There's a lot of resentment there. Uh, touch on it because we've heard you talk like this before with other opponents, but it seems like him a lot more has come out raw emotion wise from you Why is that? Uh, because they, uh, How I feel that uh, he his ex right now uh, he put the nose very high he knows that he didn't win the fight and he's right now try to uh, get believe all people that he's a, got a victory like a hundred percent like a fair he, he he won not a fair you know like he, this guy like uh, lived face off on hbo uh, tv show you know like and come on like you, you, you for, for you, for him left uh, just uh, 20 minutes uh, to wait for this uh, TV show, right? And I came like uh, 10 minutes before the start of this TV show. And when I came, like, uh, Katie Dua said that like, he left. He left uh, Las Vegas because he didn't believe that I can, I can. <laughs> why? <laughs> for me, I, I don't understand, like, why he left 20, 20 minutes before the start of TV show. It's just like he, he's playing, you know, with me, but what not broken you makes you only strong, right? Steven mentioned it. Do you feel you have to humble him given all that you said? About what? Just how you're saying how you feel he, he has his nose in the air. That ah. Do you feel you have to humble him in the second one to yes. make, bring yeah. him back down? Yeah. 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 By right hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sergey, can you rate Andre Ward's power from 1 through 10 on a scale? Uh, you know, like, someday, someday in my hometown Chilabas, uh, one, one day girl, you know, like, 25 years old, like, uh, slaps me like a much harder than, than Andre Ward. Uh, punch me in the fight, you know, like, I, I didn't feel any, any hard punches from, from, from him. So you say he doesn't have any power, you're going to be able to walk through him yeah. and dig I, I, I didn't, I didn't feel, I didn't feel any power, any, any problem, you know, except my problem personally, right. that I, that, that, that I uh, lost uh, my energy. But what made Andre Ward so difficult in the first fight and that second half of the fight? Uh, you know, like, 
I, I didn't feel any problems with, mm -hmm. uh, from underwork because I felt it's the most problem inside of me that I didn't have energy. Okay. And I just uh, like uh, fought and tried to do something, you know, like without energy. Like, it was uh, difficult, really. And uh, maybe, you know, like, I should to stop this fight, but I can't. I can't, like, because I, 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 uh, I thought and I, and I felt that I, get, uh, uh, I have a, a win, uh, I, uh, I get a victory, you know, like, because everything was good. I mean, like uh, round by round, I got lost, I got win, I got lost, I got win. Like uh, last four, uh, six rounds was like was like that. Round lost, round won. Round lost, round won. You know, like. It's, but I, I was surprised that when Charles was like, but it, it's already history, you know. It's already past. It's like, but right. looking forward. I'm looking forward to June 17. And what are you doing in this camp to increase your energy energy levels? What are you doing to? I do, I do less workout. <laughs> I do less workout and the same, way, okay. yes, the same uh, safe energy, you know, because I spend a lot of energy and a lot of power in my last training camp, like, and I was empty already one month before the fight. I never fought ten rounds of sparring for the fight last training camp. Hmm. It's the maximum one time I fought, uh, I sparred eight rounds. Eight rounds is was, was my my maximum, you know, like. And right now, already yesterday, I, I fought, I spar uh, 10 rounds. Feel, I tired, but much better, much better than last training camp. <laughs> Sergey, John told me that you were running like ridiculous amount of miles. He said you were running like 14 miles a day with, with the old camp. I'm just curious, did you ever think at any point like, hey, this is too much, I shouldn't be doing this? Yes, yes, I, I, I ran a lot, I, I, I did a lot of workouts, you know, like three workouts a day, and like, yes, I overdrank because I did a lot. But I had a conditioning coach, and he is like scared to say something to me, you know, like, I don't know why, like, you coach, like, scared you. Yeah, he's like, a, he thought, like, if I will say him, like, I don't know how to say it. He thought, if, if he will say me, like, and I will be dispute this if uh, his uh, comment, you know, like, and like, don't pay him money, you know, because he's the wrong uh, things to say. Me. He's crazy, like, <laughs> but, but I don't know, I was confused right, uh, my, myself, like, but I, uh, I worked with him for the match uh, with John Pascal. And after this, two more round, uh, two more fights, he killed me. Last question. Chilemba and uh, war. And I said him bye bye. Sergey, you have that reputation. You're intimidating. People are scared yes. of you. Just get Robert Garcia has stated before that Just one question. he wouldn't want to okay. get in a street fight with you. How do you take that? How does the boss say you're from the hood in Russia? Do you get that? Uh, sometimes uh, I'm, I'm angry if uh, has a reason. If has a reason. If no reason, I'm I'm good. Yeah. I'm